Hey guys, what's going on? Jack here and welcome back to another another video. So guys, today's video is actually a tour of my updated 2021 desk setup workstation thing. I've, I've transformed this setup a lot since the start of the year when I did do a 2021 um, setup slash room tour. But yeah guys, a lot has changed since then. At that point I had my corner gold wrapped chrome gold desk, like that thing was mental but it was all sort of peeling off. So I've replaced that with a completely new desk and I've got a lot of new things on the desk as well. And I've even built a new PC this year as well. So. So yeah, that's that's pretty new and a lot has changed on the setup. So I'm going to show you guys that now. Now just bear in mind guys, it is still a bit of a work in progress. There's still some things I want to change on the desk, such as the monitors. And I'm also wanting to do something with this wall here in terms of some sort of wallpaper or something like that. But for now, this is what we're rolling with. So I'm just going to start over here guys, first of all with the chair. Now this is a GTO Mega chair and this chair is absolutely awesome the thing is just so comfy like i can fold the back right down like you can literally fold this thing right back you could literally sleep on it the cushions in the actual chair itself are really really comfy and supportive and at the back here i've also got the back support here did come with a bit of a headrest but i took that off and i just went with this one because it's a lot more comfier for me like that and honestly, yeah, I could live in this chair. It is so, so comfy and it just makes sitting at your desk a lot more enjoyable. I sit at my desk for long periods of time and to have a comfy chair is just a must. Anyway, guys, starting over here on the desk. First of all, I have my headphones here, which are the Bose QC35 Mark IIs in silver. Now these headphones are absolutely insane. I'm going to be doing a separate sort of video related to these shortly because they are incredible. The sound that these things produce for the price are incredible. Moving on we have the peripherals on the desk such as the keyboard and the mouse. For the mouse I'm using a Logitech MX Master. Now this is a really really cool mouse as you can map certain buttons on this thing customizable on the side to what you want them to be for so little shortcuts for things and it works really 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 well hands in with the Logitech keyboard I've got over here. Now the keyboard I've got is a Logitech MX Craft keyboard. Now this keyboard is absolutely incredible. It's pretty similar to the mouse such as you can map certain buttons and program them to things you want to do such as this dial here. You can set that for anything you want such as the volume or if you want to use it to scribble on your timeline in Premiere you can use that too. It's also got this really cool feature when you put your hand above it it lights up like that. Now that is a cool feature. Moving along to this side of the desk, I've got my two iPhones here. My personal favorite is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now this phone, yeah, that is incredible. I could literally use this phone to film any sort of video I want because the camera on this is incredible. Honestly, what an insane, I would say little, but it's a pretty hefty device. That thing is incredible. And then my work phone here, which I use for taking all my client calls and stuff like that, is my iPhone X or 10. Just over here, I've got a notepad, which I use to just note a few things down. If I need to take a quick note on paper, I use my notepad here. I've also got here a charging cable, USB-C, for charging my MacBook if I need to work with that on the desk. Behind the monitor here, I've actually got some cable management, which is sorting all the cables on top of the desk down neatly into the corner down there. My backup external drive and a backup drive for all my YouTube content there. Under the two monitors here, I've got this awesome coaster, which is like made out of stone with my logo for my business on. So that is really, really incredible. I think that is awesome. Here I've got a four-way USB 3.0 hub, just if I need to plug like a drive in or something quickly on top of the desk, that is connected to the PC there. Over on this side I've got a Balkin wireless charger which I use to just charge my phones and anything that supports wireless charging such as my phone or AirPods or anything like that. And then here I've just got a lightning cable to connect phones or any sort of lightning device to 
uh, my PC if I need to upload or offload files from them. And then of course we cannot forget in the centre of the desk, centre of attention, my YouTube notebook. All my YouTube ideas and all my goals go down in this awesome book, which I got from YouTube Space, I think back in 2018 now. And then of course, on the desk, you can see in all their glory, I've got my Acer 22 inch monitors. Now you heard me say at the start of this video, I wasn't too sure what to do with these. And that is why when I built this desk, I had no idea if I wanted to get some ultra wide, big monitors, just one monitor, just two of these or what, I had no idea, and I still don't. So for now, I just thought I'd keep all three and decide at a later date what to do. Because they need replacing because they've been here for a while and I need some better quality monitors, but they've done a good job for, however, I think I've had them for about four years now. They've done an amazing job, but I just need to change them up a bit. So if you guys got any suggestions, let me know in that comment section down below. If we move down under the desk, then you can actually see here, again, in all its glory, my brand new build of my PC here. Now this thing, yeah, it is a workhorse. I always prefer to build my own PCs because you just get that look like no one else has because you can choose all the different parts you want and no one else has. So for my build this time I went with a white case which looks absolutely awesome. We've got water cooling in there, you can see the pipes here and the radiator just to the right here. And then I went for pretty much everything I could find with RGB on such as the GPU which is my old one by the way because well, I don't think I need to talk about the, the graphics card sort of shortage at the moment like you all know what's going on with that so they're mega expensive but anyway yeah everything I could possibly find with some lighting on I went for as you can see the cooler has got lighting on the ram sticks here have got lighting on the motherboard's got lighting on and of course my graphics card has got lighting on as well this thing yeah it's insane and it edits to perfection and then just here in the middle I've got a memory foam footrest here which I just used to put my feet up on when I'm sat at my desk for long periods of time. And then, not that interesting, but a filing cabinet there. But yeah guys, that is my setup. And yeah, I'm impressed with it. As I said guys earlier, it is a work in progress and things do change on this desk as and when they do, because I just get bored of stuff. But hey, this is what it looks like now. And yeah, I'm impressed with it. But anyway guys, on that note, that is gonna be the end of today's video. But yeah guys, if you are new around here and you did enjoy what you saw and you want to stick around for some more videos, remember to smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for future videos like these. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys all in tomorrow's video. See you later guys. Yeah.